Hello, hello, it's Wessel here, and thanks for joining me as I continue on my adventures in SnowRunner on hard mode. Today, we're at day 15 here in Wisconsin, and we're gonna be focused on trying to, trying to round out the Paper Factory Section B contract, and maybe doing a bit of pre-work on Section C. Um, now, you may remember from yesterday we have traveled into Grainwoods River and stolen some metal rolls and some metal beams, which I sneakily thought I could take back. However, when I was thinking last night, I've realized that I actually need the metal beams here in Grainwoods River. So I better not take them out. So first thing I'm gonna do is offload the metal beams and then head back just with four metal rolls. So a bit annoying, but we'll at least have them on the side of the road for later on. So without babbling on anymore, I'm gonna get stuck in. First thing, as I say, we'll put our crane up. Take this first lot of metal beams off. Put it on the side of the road. that's far enough to the side of the road that we won't <laughs> fall over and then I need to unpack the cargo and take the second load of metal beams off so a little bit frustrating that I had spent such a lot of time putting metal beams on and fiddling about at the end of yesterday but I realized quite late that actually, yeah, I'm gonna need these. So no harm really done, because um, I would have had to go down and pick them up at some stage. It's, uh, it's just that I probably didn't have to do them right now. Oh well. Anyway, importantly, we're gonna bring the metal rolls back and we'll come through here in daytime. So I think this might be the first time we've come through this way in daytime, maybe. So we'll let this little cutscene play out and see how we go. Now, unfortunately, there's nothing that I actually need to pick up on my way back to the... Oh, there we are, the train tracks and the river. That looks really pretty and the mountains in the background. Hmm, very picturesque, very nice. Okay, so yeah, there's um, there's nothing I really need to pick up for my current contracts. So we'll just make a bit of a beeline back to the paper factory. And drop off these metal rolls. Then we'll go and pick up some cement. Save a little bit of fuel by turning off all wheel drive. We don't need it. So today we're going to be looking to bring back cement. And cement is found in two warehouses. One in the little warehouse not too far from the, the first fuel station we came across. So near the railway station if you like. But there's only two cement there. That's not going to be enough. 
the other cement is over at the warehouse in the southwest corner where we had picked up some metal rolls and something else from before. Come on, let's move along. So it's going to be a little bit of a challenge um, getting to that southwestern warehouse again and we now know that the Paystar can't go there and back without fueling up. So I'm going to have to run the Ford over so that it can act as a intermediary fuel stop for it. Come on, not too early for that. fight our way through this soft mud. Okay, we can finally get through somewhere here. A bit better. And then we'll come along to this next patch of watery mud. As I, said, there, as I said, or I think I said, quite a while ago, we're going to try and use the resources that we can find um, in preference to fabricating new ones. Um, but we're going to run out. So, for example, there's only two metal beams left on the map and I know that paper factory section C needs four so we're going to be short two metal beams plus it also needs four metal rolls and as I've worked out we don't have any more of them here and there's none spare in Greenwoods either so we'll have to fabricate them. Um, I think also we need some large pipes. So we're going to have to fabricate those. Um, and also I think we're going to be short on for bricks. So there's still going to be a fair bit of cargo fabricating or cargo crafting that we'll need to do. Which makes me a little concerned about the fuel situation, but we'll just buy it if we have to. So we'll bring our four metal rolls in. That'll leave us just needing four cement. Beautiful. So now the only thing we need is four cement. So for starters, We'll head to the little warehouse that's nearby. Oh, no, actually no, I'm going to do it the other way. We're going to head to the southwestern warehouse and pick up some stuff. So on our way, first thing, we're going to refuel. And we'll stop the engine and I'll just explain what I'm going to do. So, basically, we need to get some cement from this warehouse over here. Now, I know that while we're over here, that metal framing spot 
isn't far away. So I'll pick up those two metal beams. And here we can pick up, I think, quite a lot of cement. Let's just have a quick look. But I think it's got like 10 cements at this warehouse. Oh, not that warehouse. That warehouse. Uh, cement, eight. It's got eight cements. So we need four for this um, task. And if I go, sorry, that one. If I go back to here, he's actually already got two. So I only need two cements from this warehouse down here. And also though, I need some consumables because we need a bunch of consumables for factory section C contract. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a bit of a consolidated fleet up there, I think. So I'll start by heading up with the White Western Star. And we might use the White Western Star to go and get those um, metal beams. even though they're not really needed for the Section B contract. So I'm going to bring the White Western Star over and I'm going to bring the Pay Star over. Because I can't fit everything into one truck. This doesn't feel right. I'm doing this wrong. I'm coming up the wrong path. I should have gone further over. I should have been coming up here. Oh, well, let's see if we can cross across then. Because this is this path is so much nastier. But it's worth knowing it's here. You can see the various inclines and drops and yuckiness. So, but we're through the worst of it. So we'll cut across. Again, I've managed to take a wrong turn. I'm just good at wrong turns today, aren't I? It's a bit 
pull up here. And this will bring us out just beside the brick production plant. I'm going to actually pull up here, kind of out of the way, kind of sort of. Actually I might just go onto this old metal framing site because that'll be a bit more out of the way. Let's just pull up over here. Stop there, hop into the pay star. Into the thirsty camel. And pretty much come up the same way. But we'll fuel up first. Go to that to the southwestern warehouse and pick up some cement. So the plan for today is to get as much cement as we can take and we're going to bring it back to the brick plant. And we'll also pick up the four consumables that are at the uh, that are at this warehouse. Right, so at least this time we've come up the path I expected to come up. being marked there. I might just have a little look, but I think trying to come at it from this side would be a bit tricky. So let's just have a quick stop and look. So it's showing us that that warehouse is there, but as you can see, although we could come along here, it then gets really, really tricky to climb up there to then come down again and round. So it's going to be a lot easier to follow the main road. So we'll come up the same, same way I just did with the whiteness and star, although our turning circle is noticeably worse. Can I go backwards, please? We've got a skier. Oh, idiot. I wonder why I'm not going backwards because I put the brake on. Climb up and over here. Just a bit tricky, but not too bad. Head on up. 
past the light distance star we just left and on and all the way around. Gonna to just top up his fuel. So we're as fully fueled as we can be. Let's just have a quick little look. Yes, if we can get through there, we can get around, which is a little bit easier than the other way. So let's. So this is the, the way we came back last time. And it'll be the way we come back this time too, I should think. Trick is just getting through the trees. See how easy that was when you go through the right spot. silly trailer around. I'm probably going to have lots and lots of trouble doing it. Because I'm just so useless at reversing this trailer. I'm not even... Okay, I should probably should load up first because I just don't know what I'm doing with this trailer at the moment.
Okay, we're getting somewhere now. Don't get too close to it. Alright. So I'm going to want some cement. Alright, so there's eight cements. grab all eight to be honest. Well, I'll grab what am I gonna grab? cements, so I'm going to take them all. And I'm going to need four consumables. So obviously I'm <clears throat> not that brave that I'm going to take them all in one go. seven cements <clears throat> and in fact if I get a spare if I take all eight cements I'll put one extra on that means then I can bring the the paster back on its own without the trailer to pick up slightly overloaded the four consumables way past so it turned a little bit right. so we'll grab the last cement so this is going to be pretty heavy because cement's not light This is going to be a little bit of a challenge, so I'm going to try and take the trailer back with me without knocking the, uh, the cement off. Okay, that's not too bad. There's things in the way. Right, yeah. Oh, I can't 
can't pack it at the moment because I've got that last cement on top. So we'll just grab that off. Now I can pack. Now I can detach. Now I can unpack. Yeah, so again I've, I've unpacked the, the truck but I've packed the trailer. This one on top. Okay, I'm going to leave the truck unpacked and the trailer packed. And hopefully, we can push the trailer back enough that we can get out. Mm, see, again, of course, the trailer doesn't want to go where I want it to. nothing to winch the very back of it. Mm -hmm. That tree's too small and although we're nearly able to, we can't quite reach that hole. Lovely, that'll do. Alright, so we're going to set off with our massive load of cement and bring it back pretty much near where the White Mesa Star is we're going to take it to the brick plant all except two of it Two in the White Western Star temporarily. And the other six can go into the um, into the uh, cement plant. No brick plant. Just sneak through here. Hopefully, make it through without getting caught. So, we've come through a slightly different place to where we came up. But we knew we'd be able to make it if we just tried. Okay, so. That's going to get us some yummy cement. And then we'll have to head back there and grab those four consumables that we need for Section C. So you can see how incredibly valuable the sideboard uh, type of trailer is because we can overload that sideboard and it won't fall out. Whereas if we tried to overload the, uh, the flatbed, it just slides straight off. Particularly the, the bottom layer. So let's just pull up there. In fact, we're going to stop our engine and switch to the Western Star. And 
hop in, just for the moment. Yeah, well, that was a bad job. One. And I guess it doesn't really matter which one I take, so I'll take it from the back. Chuck it in quite literally. Right. Uh, stop the engine. Change back to the. Pack ourselves. And I'm just going to run these on to the brick factory. run used up about 200 litres of fuel, so so we can store one, two, three, four, five, six cements here, and to make bricks we need cement, but we also need packaged sand, so we're going to have to get some packaged sand. to the trailer than we could to uh, to say the uh, the logging trailers force it backwards right now we're going to come back here oh oh my goodness oh boy that was a bad thing to do wasn't watching Get the the uh, white western star because now I'm losing fuel all the time. So let's come back around, and we're just going to take the fuel out of the out of the pay star for the moment before it chucks it all on the floor. Oh, that was such a naughty thing to do. Refuel from the pay star to the load where I missed the star. Okay. What a poo poo. Oh, well, there you go. That's what happens. Um, right, so be wary of the, um, the concrete bollards just here. They're nasty. Uh, crane, thank you. And I'm going to pop these out and on to interesting. I can't... Oh, I detached the trailer. Right. Detach the trailer. Pack the cargo. Radio. Change trucks. Restore the crane. Alright, so... That is really annoying. The reason it's so annoying is that I don't have much repair uh, capacity here. I haven't got a maintenance trailer just lying around or a service trailer or anything and the poor old Ford which is my normal repair platform 
is uh, short on for repairs. So I'm going to have to really think about how I can repair that. And it might be I'm going to have to run the forward all the way down to Greenwoods River to uh, to um, get it the to get repair points, which is a real bugger. So at the moment now, I'm going to have to try and do probably sort of two runs. I don't see there's any way I can do this in one go, because what I want to do is pick up the metal beams from that metal framing site we saw earlier, and also pick up the consumables that I need and that'll equate to something like eight slots which would be an awful lot to try and carry through this uh, so I'm gonna have to do it in two goes which is a pity So we're heading on to the metal framing site first, which is past the gateway, or near the gateway, near where we dropped off that uh, load start. See the yellow arrows. Oh no, that's the cement ones. Sorry, that's not where I want to be. My metal framing site is just here. And this is the last metal beams that we have in uh, Black Badger Lake. Grab these two, <coughs> pardon me, grab these two and head back. Spin it around a bit. Okay. Wish 
should appear on to me that right? Yeah. Chest, that's good. Okay. So it's now back down towards the uh, pay star. work out what I'm going to do with the uh, that repair that's throwing a real cat amongst the pigeons. Slot back first. Because I think I need to to do the mercy dash with the Ford. bashing into that concrete block was a very bad thing to do. Bad thing. So now I'm not sure if I should just head on home with the uh, with the White Western Star or leave it here. I think we'll leave it here for now. Okay, have a look at the pay star. Just right, look at that damage. Oh, I can't see how much. Uh, no, I can do that. Okay, so we need a wheel. That's okay. We need 100 points for the tank, 200 points for the suspension. Wow! We need 300 points and a wheel. Plus, yeah, okay. Where's the Ford? Uh, where's the Lodestar? I think the Lodestar only has like 150 points max anyway. Yeah, so he's got 35 points and two spare wheels at the moment. Mind you, he's got damage himself. So he's got 17, so he's got next to nothing. Okay, and not enough to repair. Oh, 
150, yeah, no, not even enough to repair, right. So we want the Ford. The Ford is currently here. He's got 110 litres in him. But he's got to go, oh, I suppose he could go that way. We could take him through this gateway down the east, down behind the, uh, let's give it a go. 110 litres of fuel, but he's got no reserves. So if he doesn't make it, it'll be really embarrassing. Having said that, we're also running pretty short on the time. So, everything's conspiring against us today. over here. And this will bring us, when we come through here, we'll come out not far from the warehouse. This is the way we came the very first time we bought the Paystar over to the Southwest Warehouse. Right. So I reckon we'll get into Greenwood's River and then we're pretty much going to stop for the day because uh, it feels like we're pretty much hitting, hitting the sort of 8 o'clock mark. So, oh, a lot of fiddling about and not much progress. You know, admittedly shortened day, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. Can't be helped. Let's have a look at Greenwoods River as we arrive. Lovely. And time 7.15, so let's just start on our way. We don't have very long, but we'll start on our way and head down to where we first found the, uh, the White Western Star with the tanker on it. And then continue on past that 
into the middle rolls factory. Just got to be a little bit careful I don't rush coming along here now because there's some pretty interesting uh, dips and troughs that will do their best to tip over the ford. So I'll probably we'll come to this part here. There's the watchtower that we've already opened. We just go a little bit further and we'll find the, the spot where we found the What did I say about rushing? That has got to be one of the closest calls I think I've ever made. <clears throat> now, I don't think I can get through this way. Says he trying to get through this way. But it would be very nice if I could, wouldn't it? Oop, definitely not going down there. Let's cross over the babbling brook. to play with. Not even gonna try and make that tight turn on the on the road. We'll sneak around the edge. And then here we are outside the metal roll plan. And that will do us for today. So it's uh, 8.30, so we're back to pretty much the right sort of time. So uh, mm, today was busy but not very fruitful. So we've gone and got lots of stuff, but we haven't been able to deliver any of it, and we've not made much progress other than bringing those metal rolls down. <sighs> oh well, that's the way it goes. Um, tomorrow, we're going to focus on, well, first thing, taking the Ford down, refueling it from the cat, uh, and replay, uh, replenishing all of our repair points. We can then come zooming back up the main road. Uh, we will uh, get to the... Uh, oh, actually, I probably want to come across again. Don't I? I don't really want to go up the main road. I'm probably going to want to come up the way I've come back across here uh, because I'm going to need to get back to the uh, paystar, fix the paystar, take the paystar and refuel it, take the paystar probably into the west southwestern warehouse for the final time and pick up some consumables and then bring everything back to the paper factory so a lot more fiddling tomorrow but i think we might find with any luck tomorrow we'll finish both paper factory section b and section c let's see how we go hopefully you can join me for that um, thanks for watching though and uh, yeah, looking forward to a big day tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Bye-bye.